Hi and welcome to another video from me uh, on Palo Alto and all things Palo Alto that I have the opportunity to work with these days. Um, just get this out of the way. It's you know if you do like the video, please leave a like. It does help um, and subscribe to the channel if you think it's worth subscribing to because again that really does help the channel. And um, and this this year I really want to expand it. I want to you know more real world scenarios more. Um, troubleshooting and, and, and everything like that to make it a, a proper resource, a free resource for people. Um, I am considering a membership tier, but I, I don't know what I'd do with that, so um, that needs to be worthwhile doing. Uh, but at the very least, I mean, like a resource that people can use to get them out of everyday everyday issues with Paolo and also to investigate some of the things that it, that it, it can do. So recently, a lot of the videos have been about SCM, Strata Cloud Manager, uh, Strata Cloud Manager has been around for a while now, but it is really maturing and it's really being pushed as a replacement for um, for Panorama. It, uh, it's got management for, as we've seen before, it has management for uh, Next Gen Firewall, so Next Gen Firewalls, Prisma Access. You've got SaaS security, data loss protection all configured through it, albeit sort of loading another window. Um, SD WAN control. Um, through it and, and, and everything and management and alerting and AI ops is integrated into it and you know it's really it really is becoming something it's, it's, it's a very good product one of the things that was introduced in SCM was snippets and that's what we want to talk about or I want to talk about today and snippets and how they how they work and how I think of them and um, the way I think of snippets is very much along the same lines as device groups and templates kind of all rolled into one in a way, because um, a snippet allows me to a snippet allows me to put a, a block of configuration in to uh, a folder, so thus to a device group in a way. If you look at it, it's not strictly a device group, but you know what I mean. It's it's sort of one way to look at it, um, and that and that can hold in it that can hold security policies, anti spyware, it can all the profile groups, all the things that you can do, you, you can put these blocks of code in and you can share them around and of course within these and variables as well. So for instance, we've got 0365 best practice. So if we just demonstrate this by looking at the security policy for this one. So if we look at the security policy, we see we've got the security policies and we saw as well from here that it's associated with Prisma Access folder. So if we come back to our folder and we go to Prisma Access and then we go to the security services, and we look at our security policy, we can see in our security policy that we've got indeed the 0365 best practice. Okay, and those are those policies we had before. And indeed, in fact, if we try and click into it to then edit it, we then come back to, um, we come back into that, that snippet of code there. And we come back out and we're in that, that snippet of code. Okay, so when we are when we say look at, if we come to folders and we look at Global Protect, for instance, which is where a lot of my stuff is configured, coming to Global Protect, we can see that it's being picked up under the Prisma Access pre-rules. Sorry. And in there. Um, and that will then sort of inherit down, and that's why I kind of look at it the same way as, as um, device groups in a way. Now, if we want to create our own, we can create our own snippets. We can have a look at these. So I've I've created this and I've put a rule in it and so on. Um, where we see so where we see blue, we have a I've got a web security default um, profile vulnerability protection profile, which is in web security default mode forty four, which is my snippet. Where we see that we have the the purple dot next to it, then we just have a predefined, there's just the only uh, policy that exists in there is predefined policy. When we're associating a snippet, so if we go back to our, our structure here, so when we're associating it, we can only associate a snippet with one in one hierarchical, um, one hierarchical group. So if I associate it to Prisma Access, in fact, I'll show you, it's easier to see it from here. So if I go to associate it to Prisma Access, Then it won't pro it won't allow me to associate it to anything that's underneath that because they're all nested. However, if I pull that from there, 
and I associate it to the mobile users container. We can see that I can't associate it to global protect because there's no point because it's going to be pulled from there anyway. Um, but I can associate it to remote networks or service connections. In this particular instance, I don't think there'll be any benefit associating it to a service connection. But I'm going to associate it to remote networks because then later on we're going to see the, the variables. So now when I come back to my folders in Prisma Access, we can see if we're looking vulnerability protection. In Prisma Access, we don't have the vulnerability profile. If I look at Global Protect, however, I do have my vulnerability profile. So that's where it is, and that's and it's come from the mobile user container, because if you remember, that's where we associated it to. And if I was to come into remote networks, then we've got it there as well. And then that's being evaluated first because it's inherited from the top. Um, when we get to service connections and you start to look at the service connection ones, if you are in, so if I go to overview, for instance, then I can look into service connections. So it's contextual as well. So for instance, service connections, they don't enforce any security policy. So if I was to look there, there is no, there is no security policy. Um, if I was to come back to Global Protect, just to, it, I don't know if this is boring or not, but it's just a way of how you navigate it. So Global Protect, I've got security services has come back out again because there's security so services there. But I do have network policies. I do have identity services and objects. So if I was looking, let's say, um, application override. Still can't get to there. Let's have authentication. Do we have one in? So yeah, so now service connection. So where there's a shared a shared configuration or a configuration that is valid within that configuration scope, then that menu, that menu will be there. Okay, so come, that's what snippets are basically. So they are a block of code. They're a block of code that can then be applied to multiple, um, to multiple uh, device groups, if you like, but they're not the really folders there. They're a configuration scope. Um, creating your own is you add a snippet, you give it a name, so this is going to be our demo oh, snippet. Um, create it, and once it's created in there, we can then either associate it to somewhere or not associate it to somewhere, and then we have our variables. Now, if we look into our variables, uh, let's come out of this one and go to, uh, we'll go to the 0365, we'll go to, we'll go to web default. Okay, because that is, you know, variables are, are interesting because I think that's where I get that crossover between, um, I get the, the crossover between the device group and then the templates as well, because obviously you've got the variables within the templates. And the way to edit them isn't actually that intuitive. So you have to click on the zero and then you come in then to add a variable. Once you add the variable, then it's it's all pretty much the same as it was previously. So if I say, I don't know, this is a SMB local share. Okay. And then I give it a 50 for this one. Okay, so I've given it dot fifty for that variable that's created in that scope. So if we then go to our folder and global protect, we can see that the address in there is the dot fifty that I gave it. If I want to over, if I want to go to remote networks because it's associated to this as well, and I wanted to override it, I then override it, give it a different address because this is our local share. Remember, which I'm terrible for actual sort of um, examples and you know uh, making those examples make sense. The whether you see them in the real world or not is another matter. But now you can see our variables there are configured within both. And you can use that then in a policy. So if I come back to here, come back to Global Protect, security policy, 
I can create a security policy, so I can um, just put it in the uh, the internet first, and as a trust, and then we have our SMB local share there. That's our variable, and then within here, it would have the variable value, and then we can save it and and push that out. So variables really work the kind of the, the, almost the same way as they did before. It's just a different way round of, of of getting to it. And you can build entire policies. You can build entire entire policies that can be pushed just down to files as are onboarded or anything like that by using the snippets uh, the snippet configuration. Um, that's really where the snippets are. There's there's a few um, there's a few differences. Uh, for instance, if we were to um, so if I come to let's go back to my snippet just as a demonstration. Come back to my snippet here and go into my variables. I've still got the options as well to export them or I can import them. Um, so you do the same again with the CSV, common separated uh, variables, values, sorry, values. Um, and that's how that side of the snippet thing works. It works exactly the same, not exactly the same, but in very much the same vein as, uh, as variables for templates and so on. Um, so really the, a, a lot of effort has been made to sort of make them work the same way. Um, and then say so you've got things, if you wanted to, as we as we saw before with the um, with the security policies. So if you want to edit something that is back in a in a snippet, it would then come back to that, and then you would go back to that global, and you would be able to edit it from there. So you can't edit it from from where you are. At least I haven't found a way of editing it from the from where I am. Um, and that really is that's that snippets really. Um, in a bit of in a bit of a nutshell, um, as I found them so far, I, I sort of keep using them, sort of playing around with them, see if I can make make them really work for me, um, and that they are they are quite good. Uh, so I hope that's been, it's only a short video just on on snippets. I hope that's been helpful, um, and uh, it, if it has, please say like and subscribe, and I'll I'll see you in the uh, in the next video.